Play the Lilu. En route to the Glade of Lou, the wagon comes to a sudden halt. That does it. I am leaving. The cause of Joe Arliel's outburst soon become apparent. Oh god, guys! Well, darling, Rita, darling, at least one knows how to take a joke, wouldn't you say? Look, she was reminiscing again about her surgery days. And I just happened to point out point out out there. I may have suggested that the fire destruction of the spiral sanctum happened on her former unit's watch. I mean, didn't it? Not that she would have made much of a difference. Had she been there herself, she ought to thank the saint that she was spared by her exile here. I thought she had no love for your commonwealth. I shall never understand what it is your people ever saw in that dreadful place, and I guess I hit a sore spot. I sh should probably apologize. She swoops off. No sign. Ah, damn it! You organize a small search. It proves fruitless, but then. Joe Arliar returns alone, as if nothing happened. She is back to her calm self. Let us continue. I regret the interruption. Pamita com soon comes back as well. Oh, don't you worry, darling. I have definitely patched things up between us. Honest! Huh. At least, I think I perhaps didn't make things worse. She returns to her business in a wagon. You make ready to you make ready to resume, but make a note to follow up with them. That was weird. Alright. <laughs> what did you do? We find Pamitha in the midst of a heated conversation. All I'm saying is we're we're limiting not only your chances individually, but all your friends' chances as well. <laughs> Joe Ariel seems to be considering whatever Pamitha po proposed. Reader, the harp here is suggest the harp here is suggesting that perhaps it would be best if I form an alliance with the ones I fought for the better part of my life. Just trust just with me, Jodriaria. I can't fall for everyone else. How utterly absurd. If we were in the Commonwealth, I would not have stayed my hand against her. That I can say for certain. However, as Hedwin would say, what happened back there, perhaps none of that matters anymore. And what matters more is what we do from here. That is to say, I'm willing to give it a shot. You mean, you'd be willing to conduct the rites with me? Yes. Excellent! Knew, I knew that you'd come around. That you'd never come around. I ought to give her the benefit of the doubt here. Um... I'm grateful for your open-mindedness. No need to let old eminities between our ancestors ruin between us. Or the others in my little party for that matter, after all. Don't push it with me, Harp. We shall see if the reader here is thus inclined to pair us up in the coming rites. I am willing to defer to her. Anyway, you see? I think I managed to make amends here. That we'll get on swimmingly in no time. Oh, for the best! Freedom Pact. We rid the land of an impending doom, but faced another of its kind. For we knew what that we were what was about to happen. Yet, for each danger we faced, for every failed ambush by Ark, we met the gentle souls and kindred spirits of the in the downside, who deserve more than to fade from memory within this land. It was then the stars themselves showed us the way, then a great journey across the sea. Near broken we we became, but then at last a moonlit vision. That of the rights. The rights! Thus shall they say to us, the eight scribes gave us their freedom, and so shall to be ours. Anything else? Scribes' deeds. Nope. The Sclade of Lou. Never have I witnessed an affront to nature. Mine and everyone's quite like the poisoned woods of Eric the Root Titan. In his suffocant influence. I shall leave it to the boastful underking to tell you more of Azarzek's vanquishing, whilst I may tell you something of the glade that he protected, which became his my own. For my own genealogy now occupies the soil there, and strives forevermore to prevent Azarzek from taking root again. The brambles of the glade are constantly encroaching on themselves, then failing once again, falling once again to dust. 
This is a miraculous cycle, reflected in the starlight piercing through the canopy. It needs to be witnessed whenever the stars invite an audience. Okay. Hi, do you have anything good? No. Eh. Hey, um, hey, you guys, look. Nice. I got something that you might like. He shows you several bottles. Sun serum. Star. Oh. Hmm, yeah, yeah, they taste nice. pretty good, I guess. Besides, they can give you a little lift. You know, when I need them. You got thirsty for them? Don't worry. I can get more soon. Okay. Um. Alright, I don't like you. Yes. Uh, right, that was good. Alright, let's get rid of this. Do we even need this? Alright, what we got? Um, anything good? We don't need anything for now. Uh, uh thanks for stopping, guys! Bye, guys! Bye, Falcon. <laughs> you and the others are busy busying yourself for the commencement of the rite this evening when you notice Faye behaving strangely, more than usual. Maybe, maybe he is here. I mean, I think he has to be somewhere nearby? <gasps> she notices you then. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I just, I just, oh, I, it's just. I think maybe my friend is here? And I was hoping to say hi to him before we have to do the ceremony with the star bolt? Wait, is that? That's him! That's him! My friend! He is here! He's here! What? Just then, your adversaries, the Fate, arrive on the other side of the Glade of Blue. They begin making necessary preparations. Faye rushes over them before you can, anyone can stop her, even as the shine stars sh above start shining through the darkness. Faye? Faye! 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 God damn it, Faye! Something else catches your nose in the sky. This time, strange new stars shimmering about the ones you recognize. Caithus. The great titans have returned. Ah, shit. Some of them merely in spirit, but not in form. But those dark stars are a portentous sign. Though they may light your way, be beware the path they illuminate, reader. Alright. Behold, the Titan Stars. Oh my god. Uh, plus eight hope. Quicker to react. Now it's Limless Erezek. Eastlock Astral Born. Can't. What? What was that? Does that just make the game harder? The Titan Stars. Burning remnants of monstrosities felled by the scribes themselves. Who could stand against them in their fury? Me? You are wise to have resisted their seductions, reader. Best focus on your adversaries, keen as they are to confront you once again. Put out that fire first. Show them the glory of the night wings. Ah, uh, this is the freaky tree place. Make ready for the right. Oh, hello again. Hello. Why, hello indeed, young one. We are the fate, and once again we hail you and all the night wings. Thanks. Um, I was wondering, may I speak to your son? Why, I do not see why not. Let me see here. Amir? Amir, where are you? Begging your pardon, young one, but my son, he is not always punctual, you see. Hold, I shall go and fetch him. Oh, okay. I mean, my friend, I hope he remembers me. You? Wait, where is fa father? 
Oh, hello! Hello again! Your fire, he went looking for you. He... did you not see him? No, I did not see him. This best not be a Nightwing's trick, or else Al... Ah! Ah, there you are, Almir. Our cordial adversaries wishes to salute you, I believe. Oh, that's right, I mean... Uh, here, this is my salute. I'm saluting you. It's nice to see you, and maybe your scribes watch over you, okay? I want them to watch over us as well, and maybe just this time, or not just this time, but this time and other times, maybe they can watch all over all of us, okay? The two of them stand and watch Faye skip over to rejoin your group. An unusual sort, that one. She is. She is about your age. Father! I'm sorry. I'm back. Sorry. I'm late. I'm late. I'm ready now. Do my part best I can. Now let us get started. You guys wanted to work together. Um, I need somebody fast. Sir Gilman. It is done. This knife can think of not so armor with the fate. It's going to present company, of course. Steal yourself, Almir. We are prepared to face our adversaries once again. Always, Father. Let us prevail here and now. Let us do so indeed, my son. Now begin. Well cast. Bye! Balls! Alright. Positively brutish. Bye! Their flame has died a little. A little, a little. Sorry, Alma. Ah. Shit! Shit! Dolbert's aim was true. Someone there rose to the occasion. <laughs> A stifled effort. There goes the harp. Ow. Nope, 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 nope. Got it. Fire's flames grow me. Do 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 do. Can't get me. Can't get me. Run away. Ah, fuck. Sails forth into the flame. Impressively conducted to this point, oh Nightwings. Yet our pyre burns. We shall strive. That's nice. Alas for Alma. <laughs> Bye. Glory. All right. 
right, one more. One more time. Your victory is at hand. Mm. Ta-da! Damn it! <laughs> I forgot about Gilman. Unfortunate for Dalbert. I fuck. Now there's a proper dousing. Really? Really? Fuck you, narrator. I'm fine. All right, Gilman. Ah, fuck. Nope. Your pyre cannot take much more of that. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Glorious. Bye. Bye. Gotcha. Okay. We got it. We got this. We got this. Or you could say they managed to avoid defeat. Shut up. Shut up. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Kind of. The right is ended. Leave me alone. Oh wait, I, I wanted, I want, I'm sorry, I just wanted to apologize, I think. Why, young one? One must say such things. You are one of the Nightwings, the most envied of all the Triumvirates. We aspire to your greatness and your legacy. Father, please, no more of this. They have prevailed. We need not grovel at their feet. Um, Almir? Almir, is it? I just had a question. Ask quickly, then go about your business. Oh, I just, um... Would you be my friend? Huh? What? I was wondering if you would be my friend, because I don't, well, I don't have a lot of friends, and you are brave and gentle with your father, so... <laughs> <laughs> I shall see you in a while, a little while, my son. Uh, what? I... The scribes, were they not friends? I think... Choose to think they brought us here to be closer together, not to be apart. The rights do tend to teach something of trust. Yay! Other nonsense, all of this, that we've come this far. Fortune alone cannot be the cause. Alright, what we got? Action, raising your aura. Sure. Gilman. All right, you got your four. Oh, like Good a time as any to say thank to say thanks for having me along in this strange little journey of our yours, Dar Rita Dolan. All right, what we got? Yeah, hell yes. Until the next. So, how's that for you, Jody Darlin? I suppose the outcome was acceptable. I take that as a compliment. And reader, thank you for your guidance as ever. I'm getting used to this accent. Our lives, but our quest to join the stars. Uh-huh. I have a bad feeling about all of this. What's this? Oh. Back at the wagon, after triumphing, triumphing over the fate in spite of having of almost having lost, you are about to join the others to discuss the outcome when Volford finds you. Good work back there, my girl. Though I'm afraid I must pull you away from any revelry. For something, there's something for you to see. Please join me outside. What? Look forth. The Golden Star revealed itself to us once more. Indeed, somewhere deep in the infinite dark, a single sh star shines brighter than the rest. Okay. Uh, T. We're still above everybody! Because I keep on restarting my right because I don't want to lose. Uh... Okay. 
Oh, let's go! Time for another uh, liberation ride, I see. The rites are calling you again to defall Solomon, where one of you may go free, should you prevail. Barusta. It is as we discussed. The cycle of the rites is beginning to turn more quickly. Perhaps the scribes themselves have taken notice. Fortunately, having more frequent opportunities to free ourselves is not unwelcome to our plan. I suppose it's good for everyone, including the Witcharn, who will oppose us next. Get getting to Mount Aulia ought to be a little easier than before, at least. We should be able to make a landing somewhere near the old monuments to the scribes. Let's set forth at dawn. Soon everyone's off to rest, as best as they're able to, knowing the other's chance at liberty for one shall present itself. <laughs> What's up? Hmm. Faye seems very happy about something. Has been chanting softly to herself on closer expecting she seemed being seen engaged in conversation with the wagon wall. And so, after the right, he said to me, I think he said to me, farewell. Can you believe it, little brother? He said that. Then left to go find Master Dalbert, who all, who went on ahead. And so, I think maybe we are friends now. Don't you think so too? We have a lot in common, don't we? Friends are supposed to have a lot in common, right? For instance, um, we're both fighting f for what we care about. For those who helped us when we needed it. Is that not so? He's very lucky to have met Mr. Dalbert, isn't he? She falls silent for a time, then... It cannot be that the eight scribes intended that all of us just have to fight each other all the time. It cannot be. So many whom we face, they don't like us very much, do they? Because if we prevail against them, it must mean they that they cannot go home. Even if they really wanted to. So that's why they don't like us. Back home, when they told me to stop being me. I, I didn't like them either. You know, you want to know what I think, little brother? I think the scribes put us together in all this so we can learn from one another and grow closer as friends. That's what I think, little brother, and I told them so. And next time I see Almir and Mr. Dalbert again, they will be happier to see me. She bounces off, noticing you as she goes. Ah, Hi, miss! You sense some burden lifted from her shoulders and her knowledge of the rights, however informal it be, has crystallized deeper in understanding. Okay. Alright, I want to see who's probably going to be let her out. Rookie's probably the one next. He's the most enlightened. As well as Panmitha. Her as well. I think I want Jord Ariel to go next. The Fate. The Fate united many under many main the Alpha Chief. He is wrath by false tradition. He prizes about he prizes honor and discipline qualities he seems to lack at first he formed the faith under the precepts of the olden bylaws of his four-legged ancestors they believed in a certain natural order in the way of things many men wanted for the faith to likewise show respect initially he cho only chose from other curs he however urged the faith to replenish their numbers from any race or ethnic group thus willing thus shall they anticipate what is to come open my eyes and minds and never frown upon what is in store for them What's this? Ooh. Pretty things. Alright. 